Hi, this is Master Sergeant Dale Barton. We're going to be covering trumpets today and covering a lot of the things that you may encounter when you're out in the field, out in a performance environment. A lot of the things that I'll be talking about will apply to trombones, euphoniums, French horns, other brass instruments. Okay, first thing I'd like to talk about is what not to do. The most common thing that I see is the infamous stuck mouthpiece. Um, Somebody comes in, Mr. Barton, my, my mouthpiece is stuck. Oh, did you try to take it out? No, man, no, no, I promise I didn't try to take it out. Uh, I can tell that you've been there. You can't hide from me. Uh, typically, when somebody tries to do that, they've maybe broken some braces loose on the instrument. Don't try to solder the braces. You don't have the right equipment. You're probably going to, to mess something up. Uh, attempts to straighten things. If, if you drop the instrument, the bell is bent, leave it. Uh, it'll, it'll be fine. Wait till you get to some place because undoing the attempts of somebody else to repair dents is just always makes it worse. I can, I can make things almost uh, invisible when I'm done providing I have the original damage. Uh, this bell, uh, somebody attempted to do some things on that and actually just ended up poking a hole right through the bell. When things are stuck you can't get uh, caps off valves don't go up and down, slides are stuck. Uh, there's right ways and wrong ways to do this, or actually there's good ways and bad ways and better ways. Uh, sometimes you just can't get them unstuck on a, on a job and you just have to leave it, but I'll try to show you some things that are going to help you out on that. Trying to do these without the proper foundation on that can cause a lot of damage to an instrument. And the last thing, uh, well intentioned, is getting your instrument clean. You're like, well, I'm going to give, I'm going to give my baby a bath. Uh, that's good. You want to stick with a lot of, you know, lukewarm water, mild soaps. This instrument was uh, bathed in rather hot water. And if you can see from all of the discoloration, this where, is where all of the lacquer just uh, loosened from the instrument and just floated right to the top of the bathtub. This was pretty much a brand new instrument when, uh, when this person did that. Thank you.